Hi, Farfetch Reality here. Today, I'm going to be playing a visual novel. It's called Tokyo After School Summoners. I have actually played this before, but I only got through the first two acts of the story. And <laughs> a couple months ago, dumbass me decided I'll delete it. Uh, it was on accident, and, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, let's play. Yeah, 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 download shit. Um, I don't know what to say right here. I forgot that you had to download stuff. Um, this is a really interesting game. I only played the first two acts, and uh, I'm gonna pause for a moment. And we're back! Um, as you see, the download is complete. <laughs> so, uh, this is the original appearance my main character had. They were called Sam, and I was gunning for a character by the name of Shiro. You'll see him later. He's in the prologue. Um... But I guess I should choose a different character, huh? Hmm. Well... I like this guy, but... Eh. You know, I love this style. I also love the music of this game. They also have really good character designs for all the characters, though it can be kind of weird sometimes, like suddenly a character has no clothes because of powers or whatever. I some I didn't understand it when I first played, but I think I get it now. Um, uh, I really want to play as Sam again, but I don't think I will. I think... I think I'll play this guy. He seems like a kind-hearted fellow. Well, I say he. It could be a she or they. Whatever. Or I could play this person. They do look big and strong. And I like that they're not even holding the sword. <laughs> um, and then there's this guy. He looks... They look kind of... Stoic, and I love that fluffy, fluffy, beautiful hair. They just look adorable. And they look so formal, too. But then there's this little midget, and I, I love how they're holding their sword. They're just like, I don't care if I get cut. <laughs> and then there's the girl, and she's all busty. I love her haircut. Yeah. I also like how she's holding a sword. That's really cool. Um... I think I'll go with this guy. I think he I think he'd have that voice. I don't know why. It just sounds fitting, but uh. Okay, that sounds like a girl, but I guess I did use it with Sam last time. <laughs> it could be an anonymous voice, but... He's... that that sounds like a more mature little teenager voice. That sounds like a man's voice, but it's a teenager. It's in high school. Where is it? Yeah, it's in high school. That kind, of, that kind of sounds like Kirito from from Sword Art Online. What? Why is that? Why is that voice option so long? Why? Why? Why does it keep giving us voice? I know what the voice sounds like. You already gave it to me. Please. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna. Select. I 
I'm gonna choose that voice. Um, he's a guy. That's what I chose. You know what's cool? The other thing. Because I played as other in my last playthrough with Sam. And it actually gave them the de them they options. So like everyone was calling them they. It was really cool. Nice touch right there, creators. Beautiful. Um, I don't know what to call this guy. Ah. Uh, um. How about that? Farfetched reality, but it could be like a nickname or something, like FIFA. Yeah, I'm gonna call him FIFA. When a character says the name, I'm gonna call it FIFA. Um, guy, FIFA, boom. Beautiful. Beautiful man. Also, Little, like, little droplet kind of thing. <clears throat> Narrator voice. <clears throat> have you ever heard... Have you ever had anyone you could truly call a friend? That question in the back of the mind forces you scattered thoughts to focus. Focus, dude, focus. The world before you is pitch black. It's a world completely void of everything. You can't remember anything. Not a single thing at all. Not, y not your knowledge, your experiences, your memories. You can't even remember the ones you love most. Suddenly, you hear someone calling out to you. You don't know who the voice belongs to. Perhaps it isn't even a voice. But it guides you through the darkness, and you follow. Only because you don't have anything else to grasp. On to. Soon the darkness begins to fade from your vision. This world was this world has called you here. Now open your eyes. There's no need to be afraid. This is the beginning of a story. The story of your true self and even truer friends. Ugh power of friendship. Cliches. I love this. Oh look at that. On that day, a blinding flash of light pierced the sky above Tokyo. Bum, bum, bum. When the light fades, you find yourself in a forest you don't recognize. The entire area is dark, not a person in sight. The only light is the soft glow and illuminating the trees. There, no one around to help make you s make sense. There's no one around to help you make sense of this. You have no idea what's going on. You realize that you're holding something. It's your phone. You can tell it's your phone from the way it feels in your hand. That's stupid. I don't know. Whatever. It's in your hand. That's why it's your phone. Probably unlock it. Blah, blah, blah. Where exactly are you? What are you doing here? There's, there's no use panicking. First, try and get your bearings. So, the options are, check the nearby signboard to see where you are, check the map on your phone to see your current location, check your name. I'm going to check my name, because that's the first thing I would do if I couldn't remember anything. At least remember my name. <laughs> your name is Fifer. 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 Your name is Fifer. That's the only thing you can recall. It seems that you're in Shinjuku Central Park in Tokyo. Um, I think I would just keep trying to remember stuff. I was playing something on my phone, and then, and then, oh. Is this supposed to be the voice? I don't know. I forgot. Let me let me just get my voice ready for this. <clears> he <throat> he. 
Have you finally noticed me? There's no reason. Wait. There's no reason to be afraid. What if voice this charming hurt you? Come on. Take a look at your phone. The app's already running. The cheerful, the cheerful voice feels strangely out of place in the otherwise quiet forest. You start to feel worried. Very, very worried. Your gut tells you who no good will come of this. <laughs> but more importantly, you need info. You need someone to talk to. So you unlock your phone. As soon as you do, a hexagram appears with a bright flash. Ooh. Ah. Oh my gosh, there he is. The, the cutest. Mm. But really annoying. He is... Okay. Ta-da! Whoa! Does it feel good to be out of there? Master, how can I be of service? There must be something you wish. There must be something. Your wish is my command. Oh, how cute. <laughs> no, um. A monster out of my fun. What? No. What the heck are you? What am I? Master, that's cold. Um. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? Ah, I know. You must have no idea what's going on. If you knew, why did you not say it in the first place? <laughs> Don't worry, I get you. There's a lot of crazy stuff to take in. Believe it to me, I'm a level 3 butler, so I know what I'm doing. Uh, ahem. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. I'm your familiar and in-game assistant, Salomon. Just tell the other... Adorable little Salomon, whatever your heart desires. Uh, little little Salomon. Yes. What is it, Master? Summoner game. Jeez, don't play dumb. When I say Master, I mean Master. You were invited by the app, so maybe someone summoned you. Hmm. Wait, huh? I don't see the sun there anymore. I wonder if they went off to pick flowers or something. Anyway, next topic. Master, do you know what summoning is? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, such a cold, ice cold stare. But I kind of like it. Kong, your tiny tits. <laughs> Please. Um, you're a tiny miniature goat that's the size of my palm. Please. <laughs> Alternate worlds, lands, dimensions. They're identical, but distinct parallel worlds born from infinite possibilities. For example, in another world, you might have been born as something other than human. But this you can never meet. This, you can never meet the you from other worlds. Though you're the same existence, your worlds are separate. But there is a way. Though the awesome power of summoning, through the awesome power of summoning, you can connect to the you that exists in an alternate world. Summoning connects worlds through gates. It identifies the ties between bl binds, that bind souls and manifest them. And the ones who wield the power are called summoners. Yes, drumroll please. That means you're a summoner, master. Me, a summoner. That's right, master. <coughs> it's l isn't it exciting? You're the protagonist of a grand adventure. What? You uh, have no idea? <laughs> but the proof is right there in your phone. Take a look at the home screen. What's this app with a magical icon? <laughs> Master, you downloaded the app and rushed it as a user, didn't you? The app is a handy tool that helps the, the mini summoners connect to one another. Normally, you need both innate talent and rigorous training to become a summoner. But with this app, none of that is necessary. 
I, I am sure a somewhere, somewhere called you here as they're familiar. Does what I have explained so far make sense? Uh, uh huh. He's adorable, but <laughs> someone just called me here? That's selfish. Please don't make that a face, Master. You sad? Happy? I'm getting mixed signals. Anyways, as a summoner, you'll be able to harness amazing power. Why so quiet all of a sudden? This presence, it's not normal. It feels like it was summoned. It's speeding towards us. Please protect me, Master. <coughs> <coughs> Get away! Stay back! What did I ever do to deserve this? Hi! Hi there! Hi there, you big goof! Oh, I love them. Anyways. Ugh. Oh, what did I bump into? Uh, sorry, I didn't... I don't know who you are, but are you okay? Human. Human. Flesh. Creepy. Uh, we've, we've got better stuff to worry about right now. Let's get out of here. Why are there monsters in the middle of Tokyo? <laughs> this way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> this way. Once we get out of here, we should be clear. Oh no, it's under construction? That wasn't like this yesterday. Okay, let's try this way. Follow me. Uh... <clears throat> Eat flesh. There's no way else to run. I was just trying to make take a shortcut to the station. I had to. I had to run into who was straight transit. I knew you should have listened to the class rep and not gone at gate side. <laughs> Stay back. If you're not a transit yourself, you don't stand a chance against this one. <laughs> no, no. It's coming right before us. I shouldn't have eaten those snacks I hid under my bed. <laughs> I love you so much. I'm gonna eat one if I see him. <laughs> I've never seen. I didn't see that option before. Alright, bring it. I'll take you on. Huh? You get in the way, then eat you first. <laughs> Grah! You'd better split up. Huh? Oh. Run. Grah! Uh, and that's your chance. Make a run for it. One second. Okay. Looks like we're in a pickle, Master. Huh? Why am I so calm? Not to worry, Master. Ta-da! I just... Is accelerated subjective... precipitation. And well, let's just say I stop time. Oh. <laughs> Ain't I great? I may be wookie, ricky, but I'm still a demon. This is no sweat. I love you, you little devil. I love you so much. I just want to kiss your cheek because you're so cute. Anyways. Well, unfortunately, you can't move either for now. Just calm down. Listen to what I have to tell you. Master, it's time to fight. Take a good look at the enemy one more time. <laughs> it looks pretty strong. Look at that club. And those thick arms. It's certainly pretty scary looking fella. Yep, it sure looks tough. I'm shaking in my hooves. Your hooves aren't shoes. But not to worry. You've got a way to fight back, Master. Fight 
back. Yep, that's right. Now listen up. Master, you were summoned by someone as their familiar. And since you can use the app, you can also become a summoner yourself. That's right. You can be a f someone's familiar. Mm. And also call your own familiars. In other words, you're a hybrid. I don't know who or what to summon. <laughs> I want to summon something sexy. <laughs> uh, I love those options. Um, oh, got it. Let's try it out. You catch on fast, Master. I knew something like this would happen, so I used the app's auto match function for you. Here's a strong entity with, with a profound bond with your soul. Summon them and gain their aid. <laughs> Aren't I a great butler? Now let's get, let's do that summon. Grah. Huh? Grow. <laughs> what the? No one else should be able to move right now. I did everything according to the familiar textbook. I am here. Oh, looks like I messed up uh, the order. Whoops. I'm such a klutz. I love you. <laughs> Grah. Eek, must have seen me. Coffee, hurry up and do the summoning. <laughs> Grah? O over there, you stretch us at you. That human looked tasty. This human looked tastier. Uh, I guess it's really coming for me. If I make it out alive, maybe I should go on a diet. <laughs> That's a flesh, but <laughs> take a seat. Eat now. <laughs> Now's a chance, Master. Let's get out there while it's distracted. Um, we're not gonna help him? You can save yourself if you make a run for it while the red only re eats that guy. Ugh, one sec. I'm back. Haha. <laughs> you can save yourself if you make a run for it while the red only eats that guy. Come on. I'll teach you how to summon later. But he came back for us. But, but he came back for us. He ran away, but he came back. He's a good guy. But, but, I can't allow you to put yourself in danger, Master. Besides, that fat guy is a total stranger. You just met him. I just met you, too. There's no reason for you to help, but you won't take no for an answer. Then you're either too nice or you're planning on using him for something. I only just... You say that, but I only just met you, too, little Salmon. And he looks more trustworthy than you. M Master! I can't believe you just said that. These tears won't stop. You're breaking my heart. Ah! <sighs> Doesn't sound like things are going well for the big guy. Come on, Master. We need to go before the monster comes back. Master! Master! Please make the stop! <laughs> Mine now. Mine now. If I knew it would end like this, I would have eaten all the candy I've just bought. Bruh. This way, hurry. Y you saved me, but what are we gonna do now? Uh, uh, you're a lot plumper. <laughs> no, um, we'll defeat that monster. D defeat? But how? And uh, more importantly, I you want to know why I came back for you? Well, I was super care scared, and I was almost eaten alive, but if I just ran away, I would have, wouldn't be able to live with myself. And remember that I abandoned you for the rest of my life. I wouldn't be able to enjoy a good meal anymore. That isn't also, that, isn't that also why you came back to save me? I... No, you're adorable, and I love you. You're the best character. Well, not the best, but you're up there. You're, you're up there. Grah. You're also up there, Oni. 
Mm. It, it caught up to us. Grrr. Good. Dumb now. The monster's blow knocks both of you back. Your lungs gasp for air. It hurts just to breathe. Must eat a fat human. No escape now. The red umi mumbles to itself as it plucks the boy up. It looks down as if it knows it has won. He's not a friend, nor is he family. He's just a stranger whose name you don't even know. Well, I know it, because <laughs> I played it. <laughs> but sure, yeah. Fiffer doesn't know. You should have no problem abandoning him. There's no reason to risk your life. But you know his voice. You looked into his eyes. You've spoken with him. Now you can't forsake him. He's already become part of your world. He's literally the first human I've seen in this whole entire crazy place. Please don't go away. <laughs> Stop. Grr. Grr. Mister, you're too soft. Softer than that, than a baby's bottom. Perfect analogy. If it weren't for me, you would have ended up in a bloody pulp. Thank you. D don't look at me like that. I'm mad at you. Master, I respect your decision, and I don't want you to die either. I'm a bit nervous about how this is going to go down, but let's defeat this thing right now. Grr. There's no time, Master. It's do or die. Begin the summoning. Speak the words with me. With voice recognition. The amp will do the rest. Um, rule of wanderer, rule of running. Now you. R rule of wanderer. Rule of wanderer. Rule of rending. Here we go. Forge, forge, verification. Though who aren't nameless in this world and powerless to claim this world, deceive the world, hinder the world, and by the, thy false name manifest in thy closed domain. Avatar of serpent's tales, served by the wanderer, bear the rule of rendering. Cleave all power and authority. Engrave my name unto thee and come forth. Bound this tale. Go ahead, monster. Uh, <laughs> Engrave my name unto thee. Come forth. Bound this tale. Huh? What? A sword? What? This power? A summon? This can't be! Are you a summoner? What? <laughs> I look... <clears throat> I look for you always since I came to world! You unseemly from Kimono Shrine. I challenge you to fight! I win, I eat you, you win. Just who are you? <laughs> This is where the fun begins, master. Another monster... Other monsters are being drawn to the power of your immense summoning. But I know you can do it. I'm rooting for you, master. You got this, master. Give them heck. Heck. <laughs> no, give them hell. That's the saying. So, uh, don't die. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, that's probably his voice, isn't it? Ew. Oh. My voice is way better, I think, probably. <clears throat> Attack in battle by moving into a square in your territory. It's the front of an enemy. You can move one square in any direction. That's... Eh. Actually... Uh, oh, it's being said by him. Whatever. Attack in battle. <laughs> Whatever. Just 
you can move stuff. Yeah, there you go. Boom. That thing is dead. <laughs> Two more enemies have appeared. Flash type characters can attack enemies in front of them. As well as forward diagonal. As four dinos, all at once. Move one square left. Try defeating two enemies at once. Thank you, Massa. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't see it, but I was dancing. <laughs> Master, you possess a passive skill that can randomly trigger and bestow the crit, crit status that boosts your attack power. All skills are... Activate by random chance, but I've made sure it will definitely work just this once. Move to the left and and attack. Now have it. <laughs> boom boom, chicka boom boom. Phase four, bon chance. Now take time trying to move around from square to square, thanks to the thrust attribute. Enemy boss can attack from afar if and if their skill activates they can also select the poison status effect to deal damage each turn. Be careful, master. Oh no, I'm poisoned. Oh no. Let's just boom. Soon, the only is defeated. <laughs> wow. Ah, he has such an annoying voice. Whatever. Just Keep moving on. He's cute either way. I don't care about his annoying voice. I just realized that was his voice, so let's pretend that I didn't notice that was his voice. Okay? Yeah. Now's your chance, Master. Get him, Master. World of Wanderer, rule of running, engrave my name unto thee, come forth, boundless tale. Is it boundless tale? Whatever. Grah. That power, you really are a summoner. For flawless victory, we can rest easy now, Master. Seems the monster has used up its remaining powers. Its connection with the world is becoming unstable. If left on its own with no summoner, it will soon vanish. I want it, serve, Master, even at cost of sanity. But now I die. In unknown land. Why not come with me? <laughs> Why not come with me? Very well. I let you be master. Summon me whenever my new master. Ah, I finally go back home. Thank you, master. You obtained... Red Oni's profile card. You can add it to your party later in the team formation screen. Did, did that stray chance of just disappear? Huh? You mean it packed with it that easily? Seriously? Normally the connection to one's original world can be weakened, but never fully severed. I wonder how this connection could have been cut so easily. Hmm. Ah! Oh. Well, well done, Master. You've sure proven you're the real deal. A summoner needs strength, otherwise your familiars won't obey you. <laughs> that one accepted you as their master, and the pact was successfully completed on both sides. Now you can summon it as a familiar. Is something wrong? You don't look too happy. What's with the sword? No idea. No idea? Oh, please don't be mad, Master. Stop pinching my cheeks. I want to keep doing it because you're so cute. <laughs> I've heard of items called sacred artifacts. They're the vessels of divine beings. That's exactly what they do. 
what exactly do they do, you ask? They can be imposed they can be used to impose their rule upon others in the world. However, no one can use them. Only those who are meant for the role are allowed to wield them. I'm sure this sword is a sacred artifact that's tied with your role and fate. That's why you were able to summon it. Yep, I think the textbooks looks for first years familiars don't say anything more than that. I'm here only to support you with something. I actually not good at dealing with situations outside the box. <sighs> Stop that whole glare of yours is gonna freeze me over. Anyways, I'll, I'll excuse myself now. Hold on. <sighs> is there something else I could do for you? Can I give you a petting next time? <laughs> good work. Good work. See you later. I'll give you a good pet next time. He deserves a pet. He's cute. Um, good work. So thank you, Master. <laughs> you were so awesome. That's my Master. You did great. Call me if anything happens. Bye bye. Oh, that's right. One more thing. I added some people to your contact list in the app who can help you boost your sum summoning power. You can also use the loot you got earlier to help enhance your abilities as a summoner. Try con contacting people on your list for help. Catch you later. Peace. Peace, little Salomon. Peace. Um, oh yeah, him. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. What was that? A sword? How'd you do that? You totally defeated a stray transit. That's amazing. Oh, sorry. I gotta thank you first. Thanks for saving my butt. I'm Ry Ryota. Ryota Yakashima Mora. Maru? Whatever. I'm a student at Shinjuku Academy. <laughs> Japanese, why? Right smack in the middle between Shinjuku Central Park and Shinjuku Station. What's your name? Fervor. <laughs> so you're Fervor. That's an. So you're Fervor. That's a nice name. I keep forgetting his voice. Let's head. Let's head s someplace safer for now. It's kind of dangerous here, sir Fervor. Come on, follow me. There we go, that voice suits some more. Oh, look. Look at me. Going to the mechanics multiplayer part of this. You attain the Vernon, you kind. Open the card and touch the team upgrade part button at the bottom right of the screen to add your team. Wow. 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 Look, I'm editing a team. This is so interesting. So... So interesting. Though I do love that Uni. The Uni is a good person. I love him. Well, not love him, but sh whatever, you know. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, look. He's gonna level up another level. Um, should I do the next one, or should I stop now? <laughs> this can be an hour long, I think, probably. Can I upload hour long stuff? Or do I have to divide this video into, like, three, four parts? Uh, whatever. I'll just continue. The story. Summoner's Guide. Kachoosh. We'll be out of the park if we walk about ten more minutes. I hope we don't run into something like that again. Uh, can I hold your hand? I'm so kind of scared. What? You can't just ask someone that. I'm gunning for you. I'm gonna go for his real. Yeah, even though his real does only start. Hmm. Ah, nah, I'll just go for the dog. Or at least one of the dogs. Which dog should I do? Whatever, um, uh, sh er, sh sure, I am. Uh, well, I guess no one is here to see us, but you don't have to be 
get so close. We'll, we'll be okay, I think. I mean, sure, there's a giant gate here in Sujuku Central Park, but it's still pretty rare to just randomly run to a stray transit. At least that's what I thought, but that's exactly what happened earlier. Uh, let's hurry before we run into another one. Uh, I keep forgetting. <sighs> one sec. I keep forgetting his name. Uh, uh, what's that blank look? Did I say something wrong? weird? What's a stray transit? <laughs> Can I get your height, weight, and pant size? <laughs> What are stray transits? Uh, anyway, I'm surprised you haven't heard of gates or stray transits. Just who are you? You look like a normal human. You are, aren't you? What? You don't know either? Are you lost? Maybe you have amnesia or something? Then let's talk a bit while we walk. Maybe I'll remember something along the way. Here, take a look. Let's see that over there. Oh, that pillar of light shining brightly in the night is what we call a gate. It's used to be, <laughs> it used to be peaceful here in Shijuku Central Park. Back then, the park even had food stands. But one day, a giant pillar of light appeared out of nowhere. It wasn't. Just here in Shijuku, but everywhere in Tokyo, too. There are th 23 of... There are 23 of them in all. Those locations in, our surra in the surrounding areas have been designated as special restricted zones. Well, they call it restricted, but n it's not so strictly, strictly enforced or anything. People can still enter at their own risk if they want. As long as it's not too dark, people pass through and take shortcuts and such. But personally, I'm not going near these things for a long while. Ugh, I think I'm gonna be traumatized. A while ago, <clears throat> a while ago, there was a time where they were just pillars of light and were treated as tourist attractions. But one day, they shined even brighter than usual, and then mysterious creatures started appearing. I don't know much about it, but apparently the police and self-defense force got involved and it was total chaos. Those mysterious creatures that came from beyond the light, they're what we call transits. Sorry, I need to go to the bathroom. I'll grab a drink from the vending machine while I'm at it. Want me to help? Oh, I just realized it's from... Carrying groceries, that's kind of cool. I never noticed that before. Anyways, um, uh, there's a vending machine. Okay, I'll be right back. Wait here. <coughs> uh, I don't know what I'm doing with this voice, but whatever. You better wait for me. Don't leave without me, okay? There we go. Yawn. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Master? I'm sleepy. Huh? You got a question? Ah, uh, you want to know about gates and street transits? Easy peasy. Allow me to explain. First, about street transits. I'm sorry, I have no clue. Wait, I'm serious. Don't get mad at me. Get, don't get so mad. I'm, I'm just a demon from out of town. I don't know about the things locals talk about. I don't know about street transits, but I do know about gates. <clears throat> a gate is the temporary doorway between two worlds that appear when a summoner performs a summoning. But the act of connecting two separate worlds is considered a taboo. As they, are, they temporarily leak two parallel phenomena. They th we think of them as gates or doors. <laughs> No? Oh, you want me to skip the small stuff? Um, in general, these doors can only be opened during a summoning. See, if two of the same entity came to exist in the same place at one time, it would completely upset the balance of the world. And what's that? 
You want me to skip this part too? Uh, okay, so a code. A gate is a doorway that is temporarily opened for summoning purposes. The way you materialized that sword earlier is akin to opening one of these gates. Hold on a sec. Master, how do you know about gates? Did I mention them before? Turn around. What? <laughs> what? There's a super big gate just wide open? That thing's a gate? Not just some tourist attraction? <laughs> you didn't notice? There's nothing. I would think I would be like, um, excuse me. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. In <laughs> Shinjuki. You sure are a dummy little son. No, he's not a dummy. He's a brilliant little tiny man who's just trying to do his best. <laughs> Anyways, um... There's nothing like that in Shinjuku. Ugh, how rude! But according to my familiar textbook, Freshman Edition, it should only be temporary. In fact, I'm not sensing any summoning power from that villain right now. I wonder if there's some kind of method it releases its power. Hmm, maybe in this world, gates are always open? I'm not sure that's entirely it, though. This world? Oh, did I forget to mention it? This world isn't the one you came from. It's maybe similar, but it's completely different. Oh, so cool. How the how do I get home? This is that there's this painting. What the fuck? Why is there like abusive options? I don't want to hurt Solomon. Um, no. Um, so it's a parallel world. Awesome! Nothing faces you, does it? That's what I love about you, Master. Wait, have you forgotten? You were summoned by a summoner. Basically, you were called in to serve someone. You just... You're just like that Redoni. You serve your summoner in the same way that... That... As that Redoni serves you. As a rule, once the summoning occurs, each purpose... Participant imposes summoning terms on the other. This is basically a contract that states what what I want you to do X in exchange for Y. The terms vary depending on the summoner, but you should be able to return home once you fulfill them. Say, I wonder what kind of person summoned you, Master? Uh, how would I know? <laughs> Eek. But Master, you accepted the summoning before you even arrived. N never fear. It's there's still a, a way to find out. We just need to look for the mark that appears on us on the summoner's body, body, birdie, body. Summoner's the summoner always has a summoning emblem somewhere on our body. Any mention it when I summon the sword? Oh, there it is on the back of your hand. You use summoning powers to summon an artifact and become bound by a pact with a sword. That star-shaped mark is the summoning emblem, proof of the pact between you and the sword. There should be a separate summoning emblem for you and the person who summoned you. This is the important part. There's only one condition, condition needed to activate a summoning emblem. When the summoner and the summoned come in contact, an identical summoning album appears on both. No two albums are alike. It's a completely unique contract between souls. So, if you find someone with the same summoning album as you, that person is a summoner. Easy peasy. How many people should we check, you ask? Worst case scenario, you need to come in contact with everyone in Tokyo. Let me do some math. There's tens of millions of people in this world. Tokyo, so, uh... <laughs> and, well, so long. Good night. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry to keep you waiting. Phew, I feel so much better. What's with the weird look? You hungry? Upset stomach? 
We'll be out of the park soon, so let's grab a bite once we're out of here. So, that's... All that running around made me hungry. I don't mind losing weight, but... No one's... No one wants to be skin and bones. <laughs> I'd try to get a taste of you instead. You do seem like a juicy man. <laughs> no. You don't look like you're lost in weight to me. <laughs> no. Some tasty food sounds nice. That's the spirit. Let's go. There's nothing like sharing a good meal with someone. It fills my heart and stomach with warmth. Sorry to change the subject, but do you remember anything yet? I see. Uh, not yet, huh? You did summon that sword. What if you're a chance at two? Hey, don't give me, me that look. I'm sorry, I was just joking. There's no way you, you're a transit. You don't have wings or horns. You're obviously a human. Huh? Why do, why do we call them transits? Who knows? This is just what we, that's just what we were taught. Everything that comes from other world is called that. Transits, <clears throat> I keep changing my voice. Transits are feral and just roam around. Transits that are feral and just roam around are called stray transits. That Reddit only master was a prime example of a stray transit. Not all transits are like that though. There are lots of good ones too. There's even this restaurant that serves many, mainly dishes from other worlds. It's actually pretty good. Hmm? What do transits look like? Well, they come in all shapes and sizes. Some have horns, horns or fur. Others have wings or animal ears. Some even have glowing eyes. Or um, the easiest way to spot one is to is by the fact that they don't look human at first, first glance. It's like if they have blue skin. Sure, there's red ones, so I'm sure there's blue ones too. <laughs> yeah, just like this. Cool. Uh, another one? No way. Two in one day? Close off now. <laughs> Leave this to me. I'm a hero. Just do whatever you did last time, please, Fervor. Fervor? Fifi. If you try, if you try moving to an ally square, you will switch positions with them. Master, try moving one square to the right. Ready? Boom! Defeated! Ciao! Yeah. Excuse me, I keep burping. I don't know why. Not bad! A new enemy has appeared. Prepare your strategy to defeat all your enemies at once. Choose your units wisely. Remember, other units can move more than one space square at a time. If you can... What? <coughs> you can't see CP by dealing or taking damage. When it hits 100, you can unleash your charge skill. Match. Master, now try charge skill. By moving, center, and up. J Japanese. That's it, Tessimi. I have no idea what he just said. Hey, look, they're all dead. They're alive? I don't know. Um... Yeah, oh yeah, um, Solomon just said, do, yeah, do you, boo, um, yeah, I just skipped off of that, I'm sorry.
Oh my gosh, please. <laughs> One second, I'm gonna just go uh, blow my nose. Okay, I'm ready now. You did it! Amazing! You managed to beat those monsters twice! What's this? What's... What is that thing? Looks like some sort of gem. Uh-huh. Are you gonna ask some, someone who might know? Hey, why are you covering my eyes? <laughs> Master! You are hard on your butler! Oh! My, oh my. Congratulations, Master. This is a reward for participating in the game. It's called a transit stone. It's a stone that can link powerful souls and perform stuff. Huh? That's all you called me out for? Give me a break, Master. You received a transit stone. Use the transit stone to meet new allies. Um, are you done? Were you talking to someone on the phone or something? We're almost at the exit. Let's get out of here and grab some grub. Ah, oh, we're finally out. Thanks. I wouldn't have stood a chance without you, Fever. Hug, hug the big burly man. They can't. Because it does a weird thing, and it's awkward. I'm gonna hug him anyways. What? Hey, what's the, master? what's the matter? Were you actually really scared this whole time? Whoa, 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 hold on. Not down there. <laughs> That's a bit too much. <laughs> Did people just touch his butt? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> now we're out. Now that we're out of the park, it's time for food. What to eat? The meat to the meat to order hamburger steaks by the station are good, but I could get more volume from fast food too. Huh? Hey, that's. <coughs> okay, I got this. Oh. That hurts. Damn it, Shiro. Stop pulling my ear. <clears throat> I told you. We're going to be late for the dorm's curfew. Sheesh. Why is my group full of such... Oh. Uh, they saw me. E even Shiro. <laughs> there you are, Ry Ryota. It's almost curfew. Punctuality is key to building a community. It only takes one person to cause issues for the whole group. <laughs> well, the thing is, you see, there's some un unavoidable circumstances. What's with your clothes anyway? You're covered in dirt and scratches. No, just wait a minute. Don't tell me you entered the restricted zone in the park. Didn't you- did you try to pass through the area by the shrine? Um, you see, I- I guess it's no use hiding it. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Jeez, what do you even think things through? You know you're not supposed to go through that area because of the stray transits. Hmm? Nice to meet you. Uh-uh. Hey, Shiro. Hello. Shiro? Sh Shiro? What's wrong? Why are you just staring at me for? Uh, oh. Excuse me, I just... <clears throat> it's nothing. Nothing at all. Huh? Ryota. Are you perchance uh, acquainted with this fellow here? Yeah, that's right. He saved me in the park earlier. R Wait, why are you acting so weird all of a sudden? Don't you mean... What? Don't you mean acquainted? 
Who's acting weird? Not me. Not at all. Nice to meet you, Fifer. My name is Shiro. My name is Shiro Matori. I'm Ryota's classmate. Hi. Hi, you beautiful Berlin man. Oh, look at you, beautiful skin face book, and your beautiful face, and your beautiful glasses, and your beautiful uniform. Sorry, I love this man. I understand. <coughs> I understand Ryota's indebted to you. Thank you so much. As his friend and representative of your class, you have you have my sincere gratitude. I like you. What? what? Like? What are you? Do, do you mean like my respectful demeanor? <laughs> How embarrassing! I think you meant something else. Hmm. Fever, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me try. I'm a little gruff. Hey, where's your man? There's. Sorry about that, Fever. I'm just gonna use my normal voice for Royota. I can't get his voice straight. This is Kengo Takabashi. He's my classmate, like Shiro. I can't wait to go at it. Can't you? No to the answer. My eyes tell me everything I need to know. I'm good from that accent. Glad what? <laughs> Come on now, don't blow it up. I'm talking about a good old fist to face brawl. Are you just playing them or are you actually them? Well, I don't care, as long as you're not a weakling. How can you say that to someone? <clears throat> How can you say that to someone you just met that? Just, you bitch. No. How can you say that to someone you just met, Kingo? I'm sorry, this idiot is never going at anything except getting into fights. Since he was a kid. Who are who are you calling an idiot? Besides, they're not fights, the duels of honor. Two totally different things. Kangaroo's always picking fights with everyone and their dog. And grief. If you don't want to be called an idiot, stop failing your test, or at least try to fail a little less. Otherwise, you'll really end up. You'll really end up repeating a year. I've had enough of you last-minute cram sessions. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Enough already. Easy, easy for you to say, Mister. I'm the class rep and honor student. I'll be fine. Roasters is all I need to get by in life. I don't care if I get held back or kicked out of school. You take my dad's ramblings too seriously. It's just plain annoying, really. Your father, your f <clears throat> your father doesn't have much time left, and it was his wish for me to set you on the proper path. That's why I <laughs> proper my ass. <laughs> Don't try to force your way, th uh, your way of thinking on me. Besides, that dirtbag of an old man and can still split a waterfall with his bare fist. You're being duped. Come on. Come on, you two. Biffer's washing. <laughs> Sorry you got caught up in all of that. We'd better... We're, we've been together since we were kids. They've been together since they were kids. I guess that's what you call a love-hate relationship. They pretty much always like this, but this seems a little rougher than usual. <clears throat> Sorry you had to see that. Thank you so much for saving my friend. I'd like to thank you probably, but unfortunately the curfew for our dorm is approaching. Huh? Whoa. When did, when did it get so late? Since, uh... I cannot thank you right now. Um, I'd like to thank you properly on a later date, uh, if you wouldn't mind. Mm. FIFA, what's your number? We gotta go eat together. Like we, wait, FIFA, FIFA, what's your number? We gotta eat together like we promised. What? 
Give me your number two. You owe me a proper fight. I'm holding you to it. Um, well, you have some kind of messaging app. It would be great if we could use the same one. Mind if I take a look at your phone? Hmm. Oh, this one. The one with the magic circle. It's called Summons, right? It's a bunch of features like calling and messaging. I haven't touched the app since my friend invited me. But this is perfect. If you using it too, maybe I'll start using it more often too. Oh, I got that one too. Let's exchange IDs. Let's let's exchange IDs. Oh yeah, I didn't think you were into that kind of stuff. I didn't know you were into that kind of stuff. Whatever. Well. I thought it looked interesting. I only use it to keep in touch with people, though. Hmm. Hmm? What's wrong, Shiro? Um. I would also like to join you. What? What's the occasion? You always say this kind of stuff is beneath you. Well, uh, <clears throat> it would be a good way to learn more about modern society. It wouldn't hurt to try it out. It wouldn't hurt. So, let's start by being friends. You're acting pretty weird. You're acting pretty weird today. Anyway, let's just solve the app. There. Now we got each other's IDs. We should probably get back to the dorm. Our dorm is that way. Where are you heading, Fever? Fever? Oh, that's right. You're... What's the matter? Is your house really far? What? Did you run away from home or something? Run away from home? Oh no, your parents must be worried. I don't want to leave you sad. You're the only people that I've seen since I woke up. Please, don't leave. <laughs> what? But, but we only just met. D don't look at me like that. I feel like my face is on fire. I love you, Shira. I'm sorry, I'm being too noisy, but if you'd like you to come why don't you come over to our dorm? Huh? What? <laughs> why are you looking so surprised? I mean, you got me, right, Rota? This can't be Mr. Class Rip we're talking about here. Yeah. Are you sure about this? Letting an outsider in without permission and all. You say that, but just look at yourselves, Fifa and Ryota. Oh. You're covered in dirt. That's right. You're dirty and scratched up and all, and scratched up all over. You can't use public transport like that. I'm okay. Since I live in the dorms, but... This is not like you at all. What's going on, Shiro? Usually you would completely you would be completely against breaking the rules like this. I'll explain the situation to Mr Manobi. We'll be fine. Leave it to me. So that's that, Fever. Will you mind stopping by for a while? I didn't get this far that far into the visual novel when I first played it, but I have a feeling that he is the guy that summoned me. Because he was all like, hey. <laughs> I'll take you up. No, wait. At this rate, I just met Val for you. I already have. Fall, fall for me? Uh, oh, I, uh. Please don't tease me. I might get the wrong idea. I couldn't just abandon someone that helped my classmate. Besides, helping someone in need is the proper thing to do. Even my books say so. That's right. That, wait, that's our class rep. Now, now that that's the title, let's get out of here. Ah, I'm so hungry. What should we have for dinner? Our cafeteria is actually pretty good. You, you're going to eat too, right, Fifer? What you staring at? You find someone that looks tough, Fifer? What's wrong? You always acting. You're acting. 
The way you're acting looks pretty suspicious. Um, so it's kind of been bothering me. Um, so it's kind of been bothering me. Everywhere you look, there's, there, there's, there are things that 